Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to A Paragon Guide, I am Silfen. In this video we are taking a look at the math behind Infinity Stream. It is a very interesting intellect card that I suggest all casters are going to need to consider. So if you are a uh, caster main or you are simply interested in the math behind Infinity Stream, this video is for you. So ladies and gentlemen, here it is, not that bad, not that complicated. So Infinity Stream, ladies and gentlemen, is a seven CP intellect card. It gives you one CP of penetration, which is a very interesting thing. It could definitely be your penetration sink, could be your penetration card. It gives you one CP of mana regen, leaving five CP as for the passive. Now, what exactly does that passive do? It gives you 2.4 mana regen, scaling with your current mana percentage. What does that mean? So you are at 100% of your maximum mana. You haven't used an ability, you just come from base. You get 2.4 mana regen at that moment. Now, as soon as you use an ability, your percentage of your mana based on, compared to your maximum mana, goes down. Now your that 2.4 mana region will also go down relative to the, your percentage of current mana compared to your maximum mana. So let's say you are at 50% of your maximum mana, you've used some abilities, you now will only gain 50% of your passive, which is 2.4 to start with, you'll only get 1.2 mana region. So it scales with your current mana. 2.4 when you're at maximum mana, 100%. If you're at 50% mana, you only get 1.2. So you can see, if you can stay high mana percentage, it's definitely going to be worth more. So the value of this passive is actually 8 CP of, ma of mana region at 100% of your maximum mana. 8% of eight or eight CP of mana region for a 5% or for a five CP passive is huge. You get three CP of profit there. And that's what we're gonna talk about a little bit later. Now there's something else though that you have to consider. A viewer in a recent uh, video on my, on my Hydroverser video suggested that I take into account opportunity cost. Now opportunity cost is something a little strange. Basically, it is the cost of me choosing to go with this card, choosing to spend 7 CP into Infinity Stream, whereas I could have used that CP into something else. What is the cost of me choosing to go for this for Infinity Stream versus something else that could give me more in return? And it turns out that opportunity cost is 1.4 CP. If you were to take a 5 CP total Fury card, for example, one of those 2 CP cards and then 3, full, three 1 point cards, you can get 6 CP of value for 5 CP. And using that ratio, you can figure out that, you, that the opportunity cost for Infinity Stream is 1.4 CP if you want to use those Fury two point cards as a reference. Now, Howitzer is the only one that, you, that can use that. So this opportunity cost for the other casters will be lower. It will be quite a bit lower. Now, it is something you have to take into consideration because there are better options for Infinity Stream sometimes as you, as you, as you were going to see later on. Now, the conclusion here, the profit including this opportunity cost is 1.6 CP. That is amazing. 1.6 CP versus a fully upgraded bonus card of one point of, of one, or as, as you can see, the opportunity cost of 1.4, it is worth more than those fully upgraded bonus cards, even if you include that opportunity cost. If you don't choose to in uh, include that opportunity cost or you are one of those other casters that don't use Fury cards or can't use them, then that profit is 3%. Instead of seven CP, you get 10 CP of value. And that's what this here says below. The total value of the card is either 8.6 CP, if you, are, if you are Howitzer, or 10 CP, if you don't want to include the opportunity cost at all. 
Very interesting implications. So what can we pull out of In Infinity Stream then to use in our decks? Well, here are some statements and conclusions we can make about Infinity Stream. The first one is Infinity Stream pays for itself when you are above 62.5% of your current mana, or something that's made me a little bit more helpful to you, 770 mana if 1232 is your maximum mana, which at level 15, all casters have that. That is your base mana pool. So 770 mana is a safe amount that you know, if I am above 770 mana, Infinity Stream is paying for itself. That's not including the opportunity cost, but at least it pays for itself in its own, not regarding anything else. Statement, the next one, 461 mana then is the amount that a caster has to use before Infinity Stream is not worth it. You have to use 461 minimum, or yes, yeah, minimum mana in order for Infinity Stream to not be worth, it, worth its weight. So any burst casting might not make Infinity Stream viable. I haven't tested that, but uh, the asterisks there Bellica's full burst is 665 mana, and Countess's full burst is 570 mana. Those heroes, because they are burst casters, they synergize very well with using all their abilities together. Um, but any burst cast, I mean, any caster can choose to fully use their burst. So these strict burst casters here might not make sense with Infinity Stream. Any burst casting might not make Infinity Stream viable simply because you're going to burn through that 461 mana so quickly and you're not going to let Infinity Stream work its magic and really get that value out of it. Something to consider. The next statement here is that mana regen will enable Infinity Stream to work more often. Mana regen is going to keep your mana pool higher meaning infinity stream is going to work better therefore kind of feeding into itself in a positive feedback loop if you build a lot of mana regen that is what's going to make infinity stream much more effective max in increasing your maximum mana is not going to be that useful because it's based on a percentage of your current mana. Yes, it's going to work, but you're going to be battling so, so hard. 62.5% of your current mana is, is just going to get bigger and bigger um, numerically if you add mana. So adding mana is, it's going to really hurt, hurt you. You're only going to get 37.5% of that mana that you upgrade as an increase in your buffer. That's kind of complicated. Hopefully that makes sense. Mana region will definitely be better for Infinity Stream. The next statement, having additional mana will give a bigger buffer for Infinity Stream to be more useful, especially for burst casting, as we just said, but I just explained, it's, it's really hard. You're only going to get 37.5% of that value there in that actual buffer, in that buffer where Infinity Stream is useful, so mana regen will definitely be better. But the buffer will help more so with those burst casters. The next statement here, 461 mana plus the regen though, while it takes to use this above three to five poke abilities for a poke caster is a fairly significant amount depending on your mana regen. So remember it takes time for you to use that 461 mana, especially as a poke caster only using that, that R2000 missile, that cosmic rift, that mine, it takes time to wear down that 461 mana with those abilities and with that with that time you're going to be regenerating your mana during that time so it's going to take a while for you to burn that 461 mana plus that mana regen that is why I've, i said three to five poke abilities depending on your mana region. If you have a lot of mana region, it might be five poke abilities. If you don't have much mana region, it's going to be about three poke abilities until Infinity Stream isn't worth it. Now, you might be like, well, that's not very much. 
in my recent Gideon is a God stream video that you should definitely go check out. I almost two shot the enemy Murdoch and Gideon with my Cosmic Rift. That wasn't even including Infinity Stream or what I'm considering as well, Battle Mantra, which is only going to feed into Hydroverser, which I had, and I can't believe how effective it was. Three to five poke abilities on the on 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 a um, on anybody might even take out and maybe even take out that hero before the team fight even starts. So. Don't question, ladies and gentlemen, the value there of those three to five poke abilities because, oh my goodness, it is insane. Now, what are some, some conclusions we can draw here? Infinity Stream has a high return on investment if allowed to work. As, as you see here, the profit, even, in, even including that opportunity cost, is 1.6 CP, which is huge. That's more than a... Um, a fully upgraded bonus from any other cards, even considering it's seven CP cost. If you don't want to include that opportunity cost, it's three times as valuable as a fully upgraded bonus card. So basically you spend seven, you get either 8.6 of value or 10, depending on which way you want to look at it. It has a high return on investment, the highest. It does, it has the highest right there. You can see it for yourself. Now. The next conclusion here, it combining Infinity Stream with other cards such as Hydroverser and Battle Mantra will amplify their passives. Please go check out my Math Behind Hydroverser and Math Behind Battle Mantra videos because you will see that if you combine these three, if you combine these three with a high amount of mana regen, oh my goodness, I can't, I, I can't even imagine. I am considering doing a, vi a math video where I can try to combine the math of all three of them to see how they interplay, what the value is of all three of them working together. But I can already tell you that if you have a lot of mana regen, if you are able to be a good poke caster, not so much for these burst casters, I don't think it's just going to work for them. It's going to be absolutely huge. You're going to stay really high mana you're going to be able to do damage through hydroverser you're going to be able to do damage over time through hydroverser because of battle mantra and infinity stream and you're just going to be an unstoppable sustained force that is just hammering the enemy with ability after ability after ability no respite and they're just going to have to force to retreat Getting down those the, those the, those back lane, the, the the back line or even the front line with these abilities, insane! I am so excited to try these out. That is the video, guys. Hopefully this makes sense. Please let me know down in the comments if I've forgotten anything, if there's a perspective I'm completely oblivious about, if I'm just plain old wrong on something. Please let me know if you have experience with Infinity Stream. Let me know down in the comments because, boy, sometimes I miss things. Please, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, give it that old thumbs up. Please, if you dislike it, dislike it. Please share it with the community as well. Hopefully this is helpful and I just want to share it with the community and help others. Please subscribe if you like this content or you found it useful. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay optimistic and positive.